Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, happy Monday. Hope you have a, planning to have a great week. Hope you had a great weekend of worship with us, whether in person or online. Hey, we're looking at Psalm 141. And uh, I love reading scripture because it is God's word. And when we read God's word, we're listening to God. We're inviting him to speak to us and to teach us. Psalm 141.3 speaks to me. Uh, here's what the psalmist says. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Now, that speaks to me because of my story. As a young man who was committed to following Jesus and had surrendered my life to, to ministry, I felt God was calling me to serve him and speak for him and teach others about him. Uh, I was reading the Bible. I mean, I had a hunger for scripture. I just devoured the word of God. I still have that original Bible. Uh, it has notes all in the margins. It has things underlined, starred, notes in the back, all written up. And, and I'm reading it and God spoke to me at my prevailing sin, which shouldn't surprise anyone who knows me. It's my mouth. And he used Ephesians 5.4 to uh, slap me upside the head, maybe with a two by four, because Ephesians 5.4, the Apostle Paul says, Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are all out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Uh, as a young man who likes words, uh, my prevailing sin was uh, my mouth, and I, I used it to tease people and make crude jokes and uh, was completely inappropriate. And I had to repent over and over and over again. By the way, I, I still am in the process of repenting because my mouth still gets me in trouble. I still say things I shouldn't say. And, and, uh, and God just said to me as a young man, you can't speak for me if your words dishonor me. That's, that's what his message to me was. I read that verse and he said, you want to speak for me? You need to change the way you speak. And so I listened and I learned from God's word. God's word like Proverbs 12, 18, where he says, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Words like James 1, 19, let each of you be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, for the anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness which God desires. Or James chapter 3, where James says, with our mouths we praise God, and with it we curse men who are made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and curses, brothers, this should not be. And I began to change. And I began to ask God to change me. And, and God has allowed me to speak for him. Uh, but I still pray this prayer, and I pray that you would pray it with me as well. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Let's use our words to bless others. And I hope this has blessed you.